back in to see a, another tutorial from me. If you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell if you want to see more tutorials from me. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming today with a another look. We're doing a purple and blue. Now we are doing the Warriors 3 by Juvia's um, palette for this look. And so we've done this one eye off camera and wing. And we're going to go jump right into this other eye. We're jumping right into the purple from the palette. I'm going to pat it into our... And we're just packing it in to that crease until we get it to our desired liking. Keep on packing it in until you get it like you want it and I'm gonna go back into that crease and make sure we don't lose our purple and I take it once I've laid it down in that crease and out of V and I pull it down and I flick it out the blue here from the palette and I put it in front of this purple and now we're going to go into this color here from the same palette we're going to put it over top of the blue that we set down. Okay, now we're going to go in front of this blue after wiping off our brush and we're going to pick up this gray color we're going to put it in our inner tear duct and we're going to pull it up through this front color here inner tear duct and pull it up through the front of that eye look and that's all for the shadow we're going to go in with our elf liquid liner Like I said before, never mind how the look how the look is now before you've actually put your foundation on because every look is sort of like a rough draft. Until you get the full face all together, it's hard to appreciate the look. with Rimmel London Volume Colorist uh, Mascara. We go into our face and I've lately been using 360 um, by Maybelline Fit Me Matte 
plus poreless. And I just add it right onto my face out of the bottle. Now this is a new shade, but I've used Fit Me before, so I'm hoping that I'm not having a reaction to this foundation. But if I was having one, it shouldn't have just been on my cheeks. So I don't know what that's about. When I put the concealer and everything on, when everything is on and comes together it it works everything blends and it goes together seamlessly I'm using uh, a vanity planet brush flat top stippling brush is what I'm using to apply my foundation and um blend it all the way out i started blending out when i realized the camera was not recording so i'm sorry i'm not sure where it cut out at but we did put born this way by Too faced um butterscotch is what i'm blending out now For contour, we put Maybelline Superstay in 370. And I already blended it out. And you do want your concealer to set a little bit before you start working with it. That way you don't remove it okay okay now I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm going to go back over everywhere and blend it out that concealer to where it looks seamless. And now we're going to go with 334 and set by Maybelline Fit Me under our eyes. gonna go into physician formula um their bronzing finishing powder 
but I'm gonna use it as a bronzer. My contour. I go over top of it with Maryland Superstay and 16H. I just dust this all over my face. gonna go into blush and we're just gonna use the this color here from the palette on our cheeks cheeks all done and now we're gonna go in and get our under eyes complete so at the lash line I'm gonna go in with this purple and we're gonna bump it up from the end and we're gonna bring it to the middle and we're gonna stop it right there we're not going to take it too far in. We're stopping it at the middle. Okay? And we're going to do that for both sides. In to the middle. We're going to just do halfway to the eye. Once we push, put this brush down, we don't pick it back up. It's down and we just dragging it to the inside okay so we're gonna make sure we blow this color out where we can see it okay now you see I stopped halfway with the purple so we're gonna go in front of it with the blue we're gonna drag it with the matte blue first from the inner tear duct color back into that purple. Okay, gonna clean our brush and we're gonna go back into it, the palette, and we're gonna pick up our shimmer weird one and we're gonna go over top of that blue we sat down and put that shimmery one in play okay all right we're gonna reactivate our inner tear duct because we don't want it gone my camera cut out but the lips are BH cosmetic the writing is too little, so I have to look it up and leave it in the description box. And Kids Professionals um, Fluffy Purple in the center of our lips. Now, you know I am accustomed to doing bold on bold, but 
You don't have to do bold on bold because I did bold on bold. You could have easily gone with a new lip with these eyes and that's it. That's all you needed. And, and you're you're through. We're going to go ahead and spray our face with the Rimmel Fix and Go. We're going to go over. We're going to go in with highlight. Just use um, Wet n Wild's The Reflex. And that is all for our makeup. So stay tuned. We'll be back with full hair and our accessories on to head out the door. So yeah, stay tuned. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that right now since we're nearing the end of the video. And that way, you don't have to say, um... I forgot to do it. No, you don't have to worry about forgetting. I'll remind you, like I'm doing right now, stop, pause, like, thumbs up, subscribe, click the red button. So stay tuned for the full. This is the final look. for watching. Bye!